Back again, OneStopTutorials.com. My name is Ali Barbar, and here we are with the Shape Tool. Now, I'm going to show you the difference between the Shape Tool and the Marquee Tool, okay? And then I'm going to go over exactly what the Shape Tools do and how you can modify them. Now, if we were to draw a rectangle, uh, rectangle in the Shape Tool, we simply just drag and click, okay? And that makes us a square. Now, what's the difference if we were to do this in the Marquee Tool? Okay, I'm just going to quickly make a new layer and drag and drop okay and then I'm gonna paint it in in fact let's keep it the same color um, I'll paint it in with the background uh, the foreground color so the first one here is the shape tool the second one is the marquee tool now what is the difference well the difference is that if we wanted to select this marquee tool as you can see it doesn't let us um, even if I come onto this layer it doesn't let us because it's telling us there is no vector mask here it is could not select a layer because the point you clicked on is not inside the vector mask okay which basically means that we can't actually modify that but if we do it with this one you see that we get these points and what does that mean well that means now we could come in with the pen tool we could come in and we could modify this to any shape that we wanted we could add an anchor point let me zoom out just a little bit we could hold down control and modify the actual shape of it okay we could make it into some form of like banner okay so we we have so much more freedom we can add anchor points wherever we want so we can distort it even more we can take away anchor points by hovering over it it just gives us so much more freedom and it's really good to get used to okay so now we sort of have an understanding what the difference is now let's explain what they do the first one is the rectangular tool which is simply a drag and click okay you can you can take away any part of this by dr holding down alt on your keyboard simply dragging and clicking again in, f in fact let me hold down okay and it takes it away you'd be able to see it better if you went to the paths channel and held down control and clicked on the icon you'll see that we've taken it away okay and then you can do the opposite by holding um, by holding down shift let me get rid of that one holding down shift and adding to it and again if we went to the paths uh, panel held down control clicked on the icon you see that we've actually added to it okay so just like the marquee tool it that allows you to do that so what else have we got we've got a different shape okay so we could we got a rounded rectangle now what this means is if, if I had this set to one pixel it would basically just make a square okay if I made this let's say 20 it would add it would make a square but it would give it the the 20 pixel radius around the corner so you're making more like a a sort of not square with with corners on it very handy indeed because we could come in with the selection tool we could grab those points and again we could modify it um, so let's go back to the tool then you've got your normal elliptical again if you when dragging if you hold down shift it makes it into a perfect circle there's your normal circle and then we got our polygon now the way the polygon works is you have to be three it has to have more than three sides so we could collect this to three sides and we can drag and we can make like this aeroplane look we could add it to 15 sides where we get more of this um, sort of flowery look and that is just it's exactly the same tool but we're just modifying how many sides the polygon should have okay and then you have your other tools here which is exactly like we were saying a minute ago you know when you make us when you make a selection if you hold down alt it takes it away if you hold down shift it adds it okay that's what that's what these are up here this this first one is create the shape this is to add this is to take away this is to make that intersect so you can take away so if we had this and then we held down shift and control it would just take it away and then with this as well which I really like if I was to go back to the rectangular tool okay and make a square now what I can do now with this is I could make a style okay so your style sheets up here where I can make funky things happen with different styles you know really good stuff if you want to load up a style simply use this arrow here and then these are the styles that you have uh, maybe you don't have you can always go to Google type in styles Photoshop and you can probably down, download a lot 
again like all of them you can make larger icons smaller icons and stuff like that I'm going to keep it as small and then the last thing is you can change the color of them okay so let's and this is this one here is so let's not add any style at all so no style which is it's good I'm going to quickly delete all of these um, just simply click on the top one shift and then drag and we're going to go into this tool here now this is the custom this is um, the custom tool where you have a choice of many different types of shapes pre-made uh, again you can click on this arrow and you can load them up and again you can go to Google and download them so well, let's take the light bulb okay and uh, we're just gonna wait a minute we need to go to this box and explain this first now at the moment this is set up so if I go to unconstrained this is set up to take it from the center so when I drag it drags out from the center if I unclick that box I can drag out and start from any corner that I want to start okay and there is your perfect shape light bulb you can also make a fixed size where let's say if we had 25 pixels by 25 it would just make this monster wow well, this is in inches this isn't in pixels um, okay let's, let's see if we can add pixels to the end I'm not sure why it's coming up in inches yep there we go we just simply add px at the end and it's going to make you 25 pixel uh, light bulbs all the way around so really good and let's say one more time before we go let's say we made a um, um, let's get rid of this layer let's go back to the bog standard rectangular and yep unconstrained let's say we made a square and then we came in and we modified this square uh, with the pen tool we add some anchor points holding down holding down control we just modify it out a bit and say we like this and we want to add this okay all, all we need to do is go to the shapes um, sorry simply with the pen tool selected simply right click and then uh, define custom shape so when we click on that and we name it let's name it shape one okay when you go to your shape palette up the top here you will find that that shape has been added to your shapes panel and very simple if you want to get rid of it you just simply hit delete right click and delete and that will get rid of it from there let me show you that again because I did that a little bit faster so I make my shape I highlight it with the selection tool I go back to the pen tool and if you hover over the line with the pen tool it has a plus sign that means add an anchor point so I add it by holding down control I'm dragging it and making it into my shape now if I hover over the edge of the line that goes all the way around the shape if I hover over it and I right click on my mouse it comes up to define custom shape and that's where I went before I just had a feeling I did it a little bit too fast so you can see the power of shapes you can make any shape you can save the shapes you can bring them out again it's just a really good tool to get into and uh, really good fun okay and then just play around with it uh, this is the rubber band setting but this is set for the pen tool uh, if you didn't have the rubber band setting on you notice that you wouldn't be able to it doesn't automatically bring it round for you considering if you had it on when I click and drag it offers me that doing 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 rubber band look yeah doing okay so that's all the rubber band is that's more to do with the pen tool. So I hope you get a general understanding. So click your, click your, um, click which one you want, and just simply play around with it, modify it, and then add it to your shape uh, panel, and you'll be able to do some funky stuff. This is just a quick tutorial showing you how to use the the basic shape tool. We'll get into it more when we get some good fun funky projects on the go subscribe to my youtube or leave your comments below any questions any single question that you might have and you don't understand you send it to me and i'll do my best to answer it take it easy guys and girls one stop tutorials dot com check it out laters